Yeah, hello all. Welcome back. So in the previous session, we have covered the simple credit check, right? And its configuration. So I hope you are clear with that. Okay. Yeah, and now in this session, we will go through the next topic, which is nothing but automatic credit check. Okay. This is what is automatic. Credit. Yes. Automatic credit check and the controls of automatic credit check okay so now let me tell you the process how can we configure the automatic credit check so here I will give you the process stepwise in the step one what we have to do it's nothing but to define the control credit control area to define credit control area this is the first step in the step 2 we have to assign the credit control area okay 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 to which business unit we will assign the credit control area company code right company code so in the previous session we have covered the step one as well as step two so we have already defined the credit control area and we have assigned also it to our company code okay okay so now i am not going through those steps now i will move to the step three so in the step three what we have to do <coughs> we have to define the risk cut <coughs> We have to define the risk categories. Okay. <clears throat> so when I have given you the difference between simple credit check and automatic credit check, I told you that we will use the risk categories in automatic credit check, right? Yes. yes. Mm. So how many types of risk categories we are going to define? Generally, uh, three. Yes, generally we will define three types of risk categories. What are them? High risk Sorry. category customers. High risk. High and low. Medium. Medium. Yes, medium risk mm. and low risk low. category customers. So okay. now what we are going to do, we are going to define this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So give at order level, uh, delivery level and uh, yes, PGI level. level. So the high risk customers, we are going to block these customers at order level. And for medium risk customers, we are going to block at delivery level. And for low risk customers, we are going to block at PGA level. Okay. Okay. So now let okay. me go through the configuration part. <coughs> so before going through which i just would like to ask you one thing who is responsible to define the risk categories which consultant is responsible fi fi consultant yes exactly fi okay. consultants are responsible to define the risk categories okay okay so mm. now let me go through this pro then sap reference img so here, okay. financial accounting new, this one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So here, account, receivables and payables. Yeah. Okay. Then, credit management. Okay. Yeah. Here, credit control account. So yeah. here, you can able to find, define a risk categories. See here, I am going to define new risk categories. So let me, yes, here see M001. So 
sorry m01 okay so what is our credit control area m100 right so m100 and the risk category m01 is nothing but high risk customers okay so now let me name it as high risk customers okay so now let me create one more m02 for our credit control area m100 medium risk customers and the next one is m03 low risk customers okay so these okay. three are the risk categories which we have created now so now let okay. me save it okay okay so we have covered three steps right so now let me go through the fourth step here it's nothing but define the credit groups okay what is this let me tell you what exactly the credit groups are define yeah we can see this in uh, sales document controls yes so now let me tell you what exactly the credit groups are credit groups specifies which transaction to block okay. it is whether to block at order level or delivery level or pga level that's what we have already thought we have already discussed okay. that right mm. so what exactly the credit groups controls transaction which level you have to block yes which order level delivery which level yes which specifies which transaction it has to be blocked either at order level or delivery level or pgi level pgi and who is responsible to define the credit groups sfi consultant no sd consultant is responsible to define credit groups so our work starts from here mm. Mm. okay so now let me define the credit groups let me go through the path sp ro okay so here sp reference img then sales distribution yes sales and distribution here basic, basic functions then credit management see here you can find credit management and a risk management so here okay credit management yes here define credit groups so here how many sales groups are there okay, sorry how many credit groups are there three right three zero one is for yes. sales order Zero two is for delivery and zero three is for PGA. Okay, so if you want, you can define the new ones here. You have to go through the new entries. Let me give M one as sales order level and M two as delivery. Yes, delivery level and M three. which is for pgl so now i am going to save it okay so we have okay. created the credit groups also so now the next point so now now the next step is to assign the sales documents <coughs> and delivery documents Okay. Okay. So now let me go through that. 
so this is the fifth step right fifth step yes so in this step what we do we will assign sales documents and yes delivery sales documents and delivery document okay okay so now so, let me go through the path again so how we will assign here for the sales document type what, what is that the standard one or for which we are yeah. going to assign m1 mm. because it has to be blocked at order level mm. and for delivery we are going to assign m2 and m3 m3 okay okay so our delivery type is lf lf right okay. so now i am going to configure that okay so in this configuration step we will assign the what is that credit groups to order types and delivery types right mm -hmm. okay so now let me go through spro SAP reference IMG, then sales and distribution, here basic mm -hmm. functions, then credit management and risk management, and here credit management, and see, this is the second step, assign sales documents and delivery documents. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. here the first one is? SD consultant is responsible. Yes. SD consultant is responsible for this. Okay. And here the first one is credit limit, credit. check for order check type. For so here what is our sales order type? OR, right? OR. So what OR. is the credit or the check credit? It is C. So C. as we have already discussed C. If it is A, run simple credit check. Okay. And which will give the warning message. If it is B, error message. If it is C, then De it is delivery. Okay. delivery. Okay. okay. And now if you would like to use the automatic credit check, what you have to do? You have to change it to D. Okay. And what is the credit group which we would like to assign here? M1. Yes. Exactly. M1. So now... I am going to save it. Okay. So now let me go back and see here. Credit limit check for yes. delivery types. Okay. Mm. So what is our delivery type? Okay. Yellow. Yeah. So here, what is the groups we would like to assign? See here, delivery credit group. And this is GA credit group. J means post goods issue. Goods issue. Post issue. Okay? okay, so for mm. delivery credit group, we would like to assign M2. Okay. And for PGA, we have created okay. M3. So that's what I have assigned here. Okay. Okay? Mm. So now, let me go back. See. We have so far completed five steps, right? Mm. And here yes. the last two step is to define the automatic credit control. This one. Six yes. Step. yes. So here we define the automatic credit control with the combination of what is that? Credit control area and risk category as well as credit group. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, this is the important question. You can find or this. You can face it in the interviews also. Mm -hmm. How the automatic credit control area defines? Mm -hmm. 
how automatic credit control defines okay which will be based on credit control area plus risk category plus credit group okay so with this combination the automatic credit control area will get determined okay so now let me create our new entry here so what is our credit control area m100 and our risk category is m001 no m01 and the credit group is m1 okay this is what i would like to assign to the high risk customers okay okay so now let me save it see if we can see here if we go back here you can able to see our new entry automatic credit control area this one okay okay so this is what we have defined for credit control area m100 risk category m1 sorry m01 high risk customers and the credit group is m1 and here the currency is indian rupees and here the update group is 4012 okay okay so i think you are clear with this session okay yeah in the next okay. session i will let you know the controls in this automatic credit check okay okay mm. so hope you are clear i am closing the session okay. for now thank you okay oh. bye okay bye